Hello, boys and girls. My name is Mike Kelly, realillusionforum.com, if you want to reach me. And Mike at kellytown.com, K-E-L-L-E-Y is my name. Anyway, um, a user has mentioned a problem with uh, bringing in a DAS set through my way of doing through Character Creator. We've talked about this a number of times. Um, he mentioned a problem he's had with a set that came in and there were certain props that were not positioned correctly. So for example, here's a good example. Here's This is a pirate cabin, and you'll notice there's all these books that are, <laughs> that they should be inside the cabin. You have to trust me on that. They should be inside the cabin. There's also uh, some pistols and things hanging on the wall that are not hanging on the wall. So this is what happens when you bring in this particular Daz set through there. Uh, so you might say to yourself, <laughs> Well, that's not good. How am I going to fix that? Okay, well, first of all, this is a problem with certain DAS developers. Uh, in particular, I've noticed it with a developer called FG or Fu Fujizigi, or I'm not even sure how to pronounce his name, but uh, he engages in what I would call bad behavior. And you might say, well, well, Mike, what's bad behavior? Bad behavior is that you do things as a developer that causes issues for people down the road that's very different from everybody else that does things. And in particular, his sets are a problem because somehow he does something with some of his props, not all of them, but some of them, that make them come in in weird and unusual ways. Uh, and so for a long time, I've just had, I, I like some of his stuff, and I have a lot of his stuff, but uh, because of, of that problem, I've spent a lot of time trying to rearrange things and putting them back on the shelves and, and such. Uh, and today I made a dedicated effort to see if there was any possible way to get this stuff in properly. What's interesting about this stuff is it comes in improperly even in Blender. So the problem is not with the Real Illusion products. The problem is this developer. He's definitely doing something weird with the props that when you try to export them using the FBX format, they go squirrely. Okay, so what do we do about it? Well, I've tried so many different things, and the only thing I found that works, and it does work, and it's it's a great work where you might say, well, then why are you so upset? Part of the problem is that that his this developer, Mr. FG, I'll call him from now on, uh, is not just bad in these ways, but bad in other ways. I'm going to show you why in just a second. But first, let's give you the bottom line on how to get around this. So, um, the, the line that I found is one export that does work is the Colada export. So if you go to here to export and you change this to Colada, this export actually will work. <laughs> but here's the problem. You can't import this into uh, Real Illusion products because it doesn't handle that import. So you have to use a third party. You have to use Blender, which is what I did. I highly recommend having Blender as a tool in your tool case. When we export it as Colada, and then in Blender we can import it as Colada, then all the pieces come in correctly. Uh, it, if you had seen me before, I would have shown you this, but the books out, were just as outside in Blender using the FBX as they are in, um, in the Real Illusion products. So what I did was I imported, exported it as Colada, imported it into Blender, and then exported it from Blender as an FBX, and that will then work properly in the Real Illusion products. And you can do the same process. In other words, if you if you have here your DAS and you have a Genesis figure, export this as Colada, and then um, bring it in Blender, and then uh, import it as Colada, and then export it as FBX, and then you can use the Character Creator pathway that I showed you before. Yeah, don't tell me all this stuff right now. Sorry about that. Um, so you can do that same process. You might say, well, Mike, that's wonderful. Isn't that great Then we can get all the stuff that we want to do? Yes and no. Uh, if you do that, you will you will end up with, uh, indeed, the, the right way to have it. And it comes in, and all the, and you'll notice the books are now on the shelves, which where they should belong. However, the problem is uh, this developer also is ill-mannered or ill or behavior, or engages in bad behavior when it comes to texture naming. Remember, the whole reason we're going this route, bringing in through Character Creator, is that then we'll, it will assign the correct textures to all these items, because otherwise it's a real drag to have to do that. Uh, and it works most of the time. It works, I would say, 90 to 95% of the time. And yes, indeed, I had a hand in writing the code that makes it work. 
The problem with it is we we cannot, as coders, as programmers, you cannot cover all the bad behavior that developers use. And in particular, what Mr. FG likes to do is put all of his stuff in folders. So what we're looking for is one general folder, the FG Pirate Cabin, and to find all the textures in that folder. We're not looking for all these subfolders, which is how he does it. So because he does it this way, we actually can't pick up all the all the textures. So here in Telescope, for example, he's got all roughness and albedo and metalness and uh, normals. We can't get any of those. The best we can do is get the, the diffuse uh, because the diffuse texture comes over in the FBX file, but it doesn't bring in all these other textures. So you will have to still do all those manually for Mr. FG. Uh, so in that particular case, all you, you can just drag and drop the FBX file from Blender into iClone, and that's what I've done here. And you'll notice the books are on the shelves, as they should be, uh, but the textures aren't. So I went in, so for example, on this telescope texture, I went into the texture here to modify, and I had to put in all the maps for all the different parts of this. So these have all these different maps here, the glass and this metal map and this cap and this metal and this chain. I just pulled them all in from all from these folders here. And it takes a while, you know. When you have a lot of objects like this, it's probably take me the rest of the day to put all the textures in. And that's what we got around before. So the bottom line is this. You can still use the character creator pathway as long as you export. Uh, when, when you have a, a, a set like this that the props are not in the behaving properly, export it as Collada, bring it into Blender, export it as FBX, and then you can either bring it into character creator if you if you want to get all the textures, if the developer is well behaved in how he wrote the textures out, or you can just drag and drop it into iClone if you don't want the textures. But either way, for some developers like Mr. FG, you're just going to have to do the work yourself. Um, and usually what I say in cases like this is don't reward bad behavior. So what that means is don't buy his products. But, you know, he, he makes good stuff, so you have to do it. But if you come across somebody else's products that are uh, not in the right place, but maybe have the textures right, then you can still use this way and it'll, it'll work perfectly. So... Hopefully this helps, and if, as always, if you have any questions, post them on my channel or send me an email, and I think I will see you on the forums.